Hello, happy holiday and Eid Mulud to our Muslim brothers and sisters. May the joy that comes to the birth of Prophet Muhammad never depart from you and yours. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaye. Happy birthday, Muhammad. <laughs> that was not real. Why are you like this? What happened? I'm drinking tea. Wow. wow. Okay. It's tea time. Maybe. Happy holiday, people. Yeah, mm. it's tea time. It's loud, man. Mm. If I don't drink tea, what well, should I be drinking? You know. You know what I mean? And we're here to spill tea as well, right? Okay. So, um, this first one is not really spilling tea. It's um, over the weekend. Me, I personally enjoyed viewing photos and watching short video clips from David O'Son's naming ceremony in London. I don't know why I didn't see her in those videos. But I all I can not, say. She was is... cooking now. Oh, come on, man. I was not cooking. What were you doing? I was not able to attend, man. I called David. And, you know, we had this long conversation. Ah. I just explained to him. I was not. I had a lot to do. You said, dude, okay, I remember. But I think you spoke to me about it and you said um, they will be doing the Nigerian name is yeah, so they said yeah. they need you more. No, but I have yeah. one question. The one that happened <laughs> in Surulere, what's the name of this guy? What is that? The, is it Shokishita? What did they call mm. it? Uh, the one he did. <laughs> <laughs> is that one not part of the name? Is I mean, it's going to be like the Amaku's um, I think, name. I think they're all branch. <laughs> um, okay. If I know. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the most um, touching part for me was the, the video of him praying for his son, where he started by saying that he has known Shoma since he was 18, 19, and that they've been through a lot together and all that. And he said anybody that wants to harm the son will harm himself first or something like that. But it was just so cute watching them have fun and... The whole memes that came out of it. I saw someone dragging. Is this also Branko for yeah, the ironing his clothes? I mean, <laughs> and I love his reply. It was just lit. It yeah, said, go my iron your life. Yeah, okay. said, my I think that my clothes is more iron, iron your life iron or something. Life. I mean, why, what's your business <laughs> if you don't know iron his clothes? Is it your clothes? Mm. But yeah, congratulations to Davido and Choma. I'm, I'm so happy for them. Choma looks so good. Like, she looks more beautiful than she was before. I think her snapback is. Good, good, and I really like that. I'm so happy for them, and they looked really happy together. I just want everybody to wish them all the best. Yeah, it's interesting mm. to know they've been together for a long time. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, if I don't know why you just want to be drinking tea this morning, um, we talk. Basically, <laughs> I'm so happy about all of this, and um, one thing I'm really proud of is um, David O's groups because mm. right now, when you look at David Doe, I don't know if he's putting up a front, but I don't want to believe it's a front because, mm. like I said, I've seen an interview where a reporter tried to agitate him, and he was like, look, I'm a married man now. I know the reaction you're expecting, but I'm not going to give it to you. So I'm just happy about his growth. You know, the whole... 30 BG coming in with a crowd, you know, the whole lousy lifestyle. I think all of that has been minimized. Mm -hmm. You understand? He's on his own now. He's, he's focused on his family. He takes time out to spend um, um, to spend with his family and all of that. So I'm just happy about the growth that is really, really obvious about David Doe right now. Unless people want to be in denial, but you I cannot mean, tell me it's the same David Doe you knew yeah, like two I years totally or agree. a year ago. Because, you know, Unfortunately, I cannot say I told you guys so because I wasn't on this show when I said it, but I remember when um, the news about the video was either from him slapping someone to something happening mm. from um, the beach, Elegushi, and you know all those drama then. And I told someone, I said, this guy that I'm looking at, I feel like he would grow into someone that a lot of people would admire and Very look up to. Yeah. I said it to people around me then, and I said, I don't know why I have this feeling about him, but I feel like he's just going through a phase and he's going to be a very, very responsible person. And mm. it's just happy. I'm happy that it's happening because I, I don't know him from anywhere. I don't think I've, I've not met David Doe one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, we've probably been in the same um, environment, environment yeah. together, but I've not had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. But I just saw it, and I'm just so glad that it's happening. So it's good to see this. So mm -hmm. I'm just really proud about his growth, and um, congratulations to the... Um, Chama and David Doe family, they are daily case and um, sorry Chama, I don't know your son name, but we know you are Chef 
Chef, Chef Chi. Chi. Well, yeah, so congrats. already part of the Adele Kiss family. Yeah, so she's also an Adele Kiss mm. right now. So congratulations to their family. Congratulations to um, Mama Ifa. <laughs> Now we know the Igbo name, you find yeah. they be that Deliki Junior, Junior, right? I think that's just a very amazing. beautiful name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it means um, God pass you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not very sure about that. <laughs> no, I saw it, I saw it. It actually yeah, means fake God. Igbo girl. As in one fake, so you don't even you know, know, know God <laughs> pass you. It sounds more like this is our own, our thing. No, I, I don't know. I mean, there might, maybe I'm just saying the literal meaning. I'm not sure, but... Maybe I mean, God pass everything, but God, you shall know the rest. God pass. Oh, that's the full name now, so I get it. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, moving on. Well, right. for Davido's album. As in, I think we're more evil than... No, 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 it means right nothing past God. It's not nothing God past you. God. Eh, hey, God, God pass you, no need. You, you were confusing right. my brain God now. pass you, no need. Nothing, nothing past God. God pass you. Girl. It's still the same thing now. Mm. Potato, potato. No, it's not. <laughs> but moving on to the next story, um, Nigerian actor Peter Duce. We asked to claim that he's a bad actor. We called that a certain Twitter user said Peter Doche is a really bad actor. Now, in an interview with Punch, Peter Doche said, and I quote, I'm indifferent to opinions expressed about me because they don't make sense to me. If Peter Doche is a fantastic actor, thank you very much. It doesn't mean anything to me. It has absolutely nothing to do with me. If you start responding to things that don't make sense, there is that danger of reducing yourself to the level of that person. I'm mentally occupied 24 hours on a daily basis. I trained formally as a broadcaster, and by the grace of God, I happen to be an articulate individual. I don't advertise, I don't have to advertise that. Every other person knows that, end of quote. He went on to reveal that he will turn 73 on the 7th of April and there are few people of his age who are active. Responding to individuals will mean he does not appreciate God. Mm. Mm. I love that. As in, I love that. <laughs> As in, the only thing no he didn't do is speak it in Proverbs. Mm. <laughs> there is no better way. I mean, he said every word in every sentence was just perfect. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that when an elderly man is speaking, mm. all those small children trying to chase clouds on Twitter, mm. we should go and rest. Mm -hmm. He really does not even have your time. Is grown past all that. Is he I has thirteen grandchildren. You know, I think he's living the life. Like that's it's just awesome as far as I'm concerned. His son like, tried to all, run for the president to... of Nigeria, so he's also what? a proud father. I said his son also tried to run for the president of Nigeria. Yeah, you let the chair was going to run for president, or was it? Uh, a governor. Mm -hmm. Governor, yeah. sorry, governor of Imo State or yeah. one of the states they come from. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not your state? No, Abia. it's not from my state. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know he was trying to run for governor at some point and all that. So that makes him a proud father to see that your kids are doing really well, um, irrespective of their fields. Um, you, Ledoche, is also a very popular actor and a mm -hmm. successful one at that, who um, diverted into politics and he's also. Doing well. I think it's a DSS, it's a special advisor to um, the governor of the current state right now mm -hmm. on media and all of that. So, um, Peter Ducci has gone past the stage where, if you're talking about people, maybe, okay, during this time, we didn't have a lot of social media trolls and all mm -hmm. of that, but obviously, word of the mouth, and it's, they say bad news spreads like wild, um, wildfire, right? Mm -hmm. And um, if someone like Peter Duce has been very consistent in the industry, despite all the things he might have heard, or despite all the things that people might have said about him, despite all the stereotype roles they might have tried to give to him, what a lot of people do not understand that this industry, yeah, there's a stereotype. People will give you roles they think you fit, fit into, right? Mm -hmm. And basically, you're trying to put food on your table, you're trying to make sure you eat. So you're going to take those roles, and then I like the fact that his fans went back to pull out videos of Peter Duce because I went through all of them this morning, where he has acted and different. He has acted as a military I man. Don't he has acted think anybody like needs to bring me old videos. Uh, growing up, I watched so many of his videos acting different characters in different movies. That's why I said that day. I don't know what movie that lady was watching or whatever she was saying, but Peter... Uh, uh, Pet, uh, Pete. Pete Edoche, this Peter, I'm used to it. Pete Edoche is not somebody that I've known that. It's just 
stereotype to actually act in one particular. The only thing you can say we know him for is his proverbs, not like oh, is is um, stereotype to act in a particular. But role. even when he acted the role of a military man, he wasn't doing the proverbs. He's, he's a very strict looking man, so mm -hmm. it's only right you give him roles like that. You don't expect to give El um, Peter Doce the type of um, I'm a lover boy kind of role. Does it fit in? He mm. might kill it too. I mean, he, no, yeah, he, he, he knows knows he might. Know, he would understand. have killed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying no, it's not even a, it's not even a thing of he might. He would have oh, killed goodness. it. If we have given it, and I'm sure if we actually go mm. down memory lane, we'll find a, a play, movie, a movie yeah, where he actually played a lover boy or he played a lover man in his case. Wow. Now he has to be I lover have man. not seen. <laughs> <laughs> what if he's a throwback or those old no, movies? No, I don't know. Even his old movies, Peter, don't you out old now. Which wow. old movie wow. needs? <laughs> wow. Okay, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, there will be more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian actress Tony Tone says she was um, she once met a man who wanted her to give up her career for him. According to her tweet, um, she said, and I quote, I once met someone who on our first date said to me, I hope you're willing to give up this career and I will set up a business for you. I travel a lot and I need my babe to be with me all the time. Um, this one that you are always very busy, that was, uh, she says that was their last date. So, um, I think I want to come see if you're on this one. Um, I think, um, any man who wants a woman to give up a career, what she has worked out for, for a long time, despite your money, even if you have all the money in the world that you can take care of a needs, you can pay a salary, you can do all that, mm. you must be a very, um, low self-esteem man. That's the way I see you because, um, Every, I think every strong man wants a very successful woman. So if I meet a woman today who has a very thriving career, that is doing well for herself in her own field, I wouldn't want her to give up a career. Matter of fact, I would be like, how can I support this dream of yours? How can I support this career of yours? How can we make you bigger? How can we make you better? I would rather invest in you than tell you to leave your career because you want to be with me. Because at the end of the day, I can give you all the money in the world, but if I give you all the money in the world, will you be fulfilled? If you're not fulfilled, will you be happy? And if you're not happy, how am I going to be happy? Mm. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> so it's just a very insensitive man and a low self-esteem man that would want any woman to leave her career. I understand when um, childbirth comes into play and you feel like, oh, she's too busy, she's not taking care of the kids. Like, what happened? I'm going to, sorry, I don't know the true story, but I'm going to say what happened between a bounce and um, what's um, the lady's name? I said um, she, she left the kid with oh, a nanny um, and she had No, to that go. was not a bounce. Um, that um, was... Um it wasn't a bounce though. I'm trying yeah, to but you bounce. know that story, story yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Where um, a lady, uh, An where actress, the, yeah. uh, oh, what's his name? I know that guy. Um, where he came out to say that his wife mm -hmm. left the kids with mm -hmm. the nanny and then he did all of that. Yes, but when you're getting into a relationship, this is what we spoke about compromise um, at the beginning of. Um, of the week, yeah, or yeah, maybe last week or something. But we said, um, in a relationship, you have to compromise. You need to know what you're getting involved with. You need to know exactly what they do. You need to know how their time shadows are, so that. Sorry, Fe, let me jump in there because what you're talking about now is exactly what I wanted to say. I think the problem here is um, people going for what is not what they don't want. 
Because if you have some, if you're seeing somebody that already has a career and she's doing well, why do you want to go and meet her and tell her to drop her career? When they, and trust me, there are some women out there praying that a man will come and meet them and tell them to drop their current job or whatever they are doing to have a business and start following him up and down. You can always find somebody that is ready to do that. Not that you meet somebody that is fulfilled, she's happy with what she's doing, and then you want to be in her job. When he first said, um, know who you want to be with, I think that's the first thing. No, no, this person, I'm sure before they went on the first date, they probably started having a conversation. And I like, it's just, it's actually a first date. He said his mind. It's left for you to now tell him that, okay, you know what, let's do this. So you drop your own career, so you carry my bag everywhere I'm going. You be with me. <laughs> you get, I mean, first, that's what's the purpose of um, first date, is to say what you want and what the other person wants. And I'm glad to. it was the last guys, date, too. Yeah, you get, if you're not interested, I mean, for me, I, I really don't see any struggle, any fight in this thing. The, I, I, the only problem is that the man just went for what he does not want. Well, but then, they said the heart wants, wants what he wants. Right, and I also agree with you that there is no quarrel in this matter. He was, <laughs> why are you laughing? That's the truth. There's no quarrel in the matter. The man said, This is what I want. He gave a reason to back it up, and you don't want it to be case closed. And it's good that she knows what she wants, and he knows what he wants, and they realize at that point that they do not align. I don't think, I would not agree that he has low self esteem mm -hmm. because if he has low self esteem, he probably wouldn't be able to even come to the table to have that conversation, I think. So I feel like, yes, there are so many ladies that would be jump on that. I mean, there are even ladies that already have a career, and they're at that point where they feel like, OK, I think I'm exhausted. I just want to be a baby girl for a while. <laughs> even if you're a for a while, right? And if that comes on the table also, it's OK, right? So I feel like um, the bashing this man is getting is just too much. Like. He was clear. He said he wants to be able to travel around with the person he was going to be with. And if he had gone a step further to start saying, oh, you are this, you are that, because you couldn't leave your job, then maybe there would be a problem. So I like that they are both matured. I don't know if bringing it to Twitter, I mean, this has um, no, started a lot of conversation. just conversations. telling own story, and people just took it out of because for me, I, to be honest, I don't see any issue in this matter. Mm. This is what I want. Mm. No, I don't want. I, th I think what we, we as women should understand is that we, we don't need to take everything as um, someone being rude or looking down on you. Like if someone, I, I think I appreciate people being upfront to me. So if you're upfront to say, I've, had, I've experienced something like this. In fact, I wasn't even on TV then. I was more on social media and my blog, right? And someone says, oh, um, if you're going to do this, oh, yeah, I was on radio then. If you're going to do this, then you have to stop all this and all that. And I just gently stopped the conversation and knew that I wasn't going anywhere because it was like, oh, you leave it, you travel out with me and do this and do that. But I knew that was not what I wanted and I wouldn't be fulfilled. I if I want... About you, <laughs> if I, even if I want someone to um, um, be part of my life, then you have to find a way to create an environment in my career that would help mm -hmm. us have time together. And that involves money, right? That involves investing. Mm -hmm. That involves having a plan and having a plan that you know that, okay, I'll work this hard for this period of time. And after this period of time, I'll be able to have set up a system that would allow me to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it, right? It doesn't mean that I'm going to be jobless for the whole 12 months. You so, know, you know why I refer to men like that as being um, low self-esteem men because they want to actually be in control of everything they want you to trap when you say I need my babe to always be beside me is she like a trophy girlfriend or a trophy wife where you, you need to carry her around which is why uh, Mike was getting bashed when he said he could not go anywhere without his girl that anything that can't um, bring his wife Mike into was not getting no 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 was just um, what's his name one was it was this um AY's younger brother. Yomi Yomi Kajor. Kajor. Yeah, it was the one getting bashed. Yeah, it was even the one. Problem with yeah, him. yeah, but I'm saying that, okay, someone like Mike now mm -hmm. says his wife has to, but you won't see him tell his wife that you need to leave your career because I need you to always go with we me. We don't know if so they have the conversation. I think, I think maybe. all relationship has got their own peculiarity yeah. and what works for them. So if you want somebody that wants to follow you up and down, like Ewa said, look for a person that is ready to do that. There are people that are ready. Yeah, to that be is honest. the life that they but want. But the heart wants what they want. Which is what I'm saying. They have the right to come to you and say, this is what I want. If you're on page, 
fine. If you're not, don't take it like they're putting you down or they want to ruin your life. I think, I feel like on Twitter, only, people like, are always like, coming I, from that angle, like, like men like want to ruin she, their life. Um, can undo their own issue. I'm not interested, and that was it. Yeah, and that was the last thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're not interested, it's fine. It's very fine. But a lot, of, really a lot of women, that. I think um, another problem is a lot of women will lead such a guy on and be like, okay, I'll think about it, mm -hmm. and then just, just because of what they're trying to get at the moment, mm -hmm. and then when that guy now gets forceful, you now come out and say, oh, look at what happened, and then you bring out the soul. But in her case, she knew exactly what Which was going on. Which is why I said on. both of them and are yeah, so, so mature, and I love the conversation. But you don't know what happened afterwards. She just said one well, side. Well, we are looking at what she told us. Yeah. I don't, <coughs> if she wants us to know what happened afterwards, she should come and tell us. But right now, from what she said, I think both of them were so mature and yeah. handled it right. He yeah, knew what he wanted, she knew what she wanted, and they knew that it could not work for them coming together. It's that simple. But me... My own advice to everybody is that if what you're doing is what you want to do, don't drop it for anybody. Mm. Because trust me, a lot of women drop... Um, not family, family, not a man. Yeah, a lot of, they drop family, they drop their career, they drop a lot of things just because of marriage. I don't think it's really nice. At the end of the day, most people that have done that will come out and tell you... Um, they regret doing, they regret doing it. Mm -hmm. it. So I feel... If you're doing anything that you love, don't abandon it for anybody. At the end of the day, if they leave you, what do you run to? Your passion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the next story. Charlie Boy announced his collaboration with Faust to tackle fake pastors. He announced the collaboration with Faust on Sunday on his Twitter page. He tweeted, every age has its pseudo problems created by its fake prophets and pseudo philosophers. Fake pastors, watch out. Pastor Charles and Brother Faust, coming soon. End of quote. He also shared some pictures of himself and Faust holding the Holy Bible, a rosary, and a cross. <clears throat> I can't wait for it to I mean, <laughs> I can't it. wait. I know that he's going to kill it. Mm -hmm. and Charlie I mean, Charlie Boy, Boy is yeah, drama too, it's... so... I, I can't really can't wait. wait for it. And you know, this fake pastor thing is really becoming so rampant. And it's good that somebody is finally addressing it. Mm. Because, you know, people just talk about it and let it go. And I like that. I, I, can't, I can't just wait for it to drop because I know that pals really shake table and break table. And, you know, I can't wait. I like the fact that he made reference to pseudo problems that are actually caused by all these fake pastors because. Um, they are the ones that would see things in your life that are not even there. So, <laughs> do you understand? They're the ones that would say things about the nation, and then there's something, there's a saying that says there's power in the tongue. Whatever somebody prophesies into your life, even though that's not the truth, every, every problem you begin to... It begins to attribute. affect your mindset. Yeah. yeah, you begin to attribute it to, ah, that's what the pastor said, or that's what the pastor said. So I think it's a good thing that they're tackling this fake pastor. Are you talking from experience? What? <laughs> No, I'm not talking from experience because I'm not so much of the religious type. So I don't think okay. any pastor can come and deceive me now and be telling me I have a problem I don't have. I mm. don't know. I know when I have a problem. Mm -hmm. And I tackle my problem myself. I'm a realist. So if I have a problem, I know. I don't have solo problems. <laughs> Do you understand? I have, if, yeah, yeah. I know my problems. Do you understand? And I tackle my problems. I'm my glad own. you know your problems. And That's sometimes, step and, sometimes <laughs> and sometimes, I really do not care about what people think about my problems. As mm. long as I'm, an, I'm handling it the right way that I think, okay, this is the best way. It's not going to go away all of a sudden. Mm. So I need to work it's a gradual process, do you understand? But people think, okay, when you have a problem, it must go away today, today. No, it can't. It's a it's a step-by-step -step stop. Mm. And most of these problems are pseudo or people's opinions about you, do you understand? And like Pete said, if you begin to listen to people's opinions or the problems people have with your personality, then you're just reducing your lifespan. So I think you don't know Koseni Tomola, you understand me? So, <laughs> this is so deep, we're about to speak to Koseni. Koseni Tomola, you understand? So whatever Koseni problem... Tomola. Yeah. Yeah. What's Koseni Tomola? <laughs> You understand? So, if you have a problem with anyone's personality, you need to take it up with yourself and not the person because it's called personality. Hmm. It is me, it's not you. So, if you have a problem with it, avoid me. 
If uh, I think brother Fowles are pastor, Charlie Boy should add you on the table so you can make brother if fair. Avoid me mm -hmm. instead of trying to point out my problem because they say remove the log from your own eye before you begin to remove the peg from. But sometimes you know high. people need to help you point out your problems yeah. for you to know. Yeah, how but to that's what I'm saying that I'm not the type to be ignorant to my problems. Okay. I know my problems. Um, Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Do you understand? I know. See, I'm the type of person that sometimes I need validation not because it's important just because I need to learn. Sometimes I pick up unnecessary arguments not because I do not know the right part of the argument or the right no or, or the right result. No, no because I want problem. to learn. Okay, now let me let me give you If you know the right thing, why are you picking on the wrong side just no, to learn? No, what no, else no, are you no, learning? No, let me let me explain. I said I pick on argument. I'm not picking on you. I'm picking on certain argument because I want to get your point of view. I want to get your take. And whatever you say, I learn from it. Whatever is not useful to me, I keep it aside. Do you understand? And I think a lot of people should emulate that. Because all right, let's bring mm -hmm. it back to this story. Let's bring it back to mm -hmm. this story now. And for the fake pastors and all of that, causing all this um, commotion in Nigeria, telling us things <laughs> that are not going on and, all that, and telling us all this rubbish, please, Brother Files and Charles, we'd like to hear what you say on the song. And oh, after we Pastor listen to the Charles. song... Brother Files. Okay, Brother Files and Pastor Charles. Yeah. Please mm -hmm. come and sing this song for us and let us hear. When is it dropping? How do you know the song? What if it's a movie? Movie, you know. Just nah, something for me. It's a collaboration. All right, because I'm, I'm know, looking forward know, to whatever. We know the both mm, of them to be people really, A lot of people really need to get enlightened. I mean, they, they said that one of our problems in this part of the world is religion because mm. people believe too much in. That's the new slavery. Prophets. You, you know what I mean? People believe I think so people, much people in worship prophets. their pastors maybe more than God these days. Mm. It's because mm. God is not moving like a Madi or Amen. <laughs> Where did that my, come from? <laughs> it's Twitter. Twitter yeah, has ruined my your, life. <laughs> I go back to your village. <laughs> so, like I can't wait. I, I hope that they touch on. I don't. You know, we don't know what angle they are going to look at it from. But I really hope that they touch on um, individuals themselves. Let's leave the pastor aside. You yourself. I mean, it's your life being True, controlled. Be able to ask questions. Yes. I mean, people, a lot of people were brought up not asking questions, even in mm. their in their to, to not ask questions, even in their home. Like if your mom says this, that's the final. Your dad says this, that's final. So the any if an it. elderly person tells you this cop has to be this way, this way, this way, you don't want to ask questions because that person is even if he's a year older than you, they've said it. That's how it is. And most of these people even talk from a very ignorant place or what they have imagined in their head. And mm. thank God we are seeing it playing out on social media now. How someone can sit down and imagine right story of someone they've never met in their life mm. and tell you that is what it is, you know. So it's we just need to start ask, asking questions. You cannot just take everything hook, line, mm. sink. And also research, read, find out for yourself. Yeah. You, you are a human being really, for a I, reason. I really like Faust and um, Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy to Pastor touch Charles. on. Sorry, Pastor Charles. And, and Brother, Ch um, and brother Faust. Faust. Mm -hmm. To touch on individuals themselves. Because if nobody's patronizing these pastors, these fake pastors, they'll drop their coats and find something else to do. Uh, they'll go to other places. There are people see religion, like you said, is a new slavery. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Out to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshuke. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.